Hey guys, welcome to one of the last episodes of the year 2022. Would you believe that this guitar has been played in Reuben Lacey's church? If you're asking yourself who is Reuben Lacey, then you've got some catching up to do because I've covered Reuben Lacey a bunch and I'll give you an episode up there right about now and you can get into some detail but you guys um, that watch my channel know many of my guitars have relic wood embedded in them and you'll find something from Sunhouse, Reuben Lacey and Alan Wilson because they all tie together and you'll learn more about that in that episode. If I sound like I'm yelling it's because the wind and rain are cranking up outside and the top of my shed which if you haven't figured out, is a Hollywood lighting trailer or box van. Do you see all those wooden things up there? Yeah, they hang cables off of them. So the secret is out. Anyway, I am catching up on putting bits and pieces of footage that I've shot on different trips throughout the year and ending the year because I'm going to do a lot of arranging and getting things in order and figuring out inventory on which guitars are going where. I hope you saw my Christmas episode, Christmas Baby Boomer Christmas Catalog Guitars. It's up there right about now and you'll get some idea. I've got tons of stuff going on. Cigar box guitars, license plate guitars, coffee can guitars, and of course arch tops, old arch tops, and kit guitars. Anyway, who is Reuben Lacey? Well, that's what that picture is on my Christmas tree. Reuben Lacey started off life down in Mississippi. He took up playing a guitar and had quite a following, and including Son House, who was a preacher at the time. And uh, Son House was running around telling everybody, you know, that guy playing a slide. It's never been determined that, that Reuben Lacey actually played a slide. But anyway, while Son House was a preacher in his younger days, he was saying that Reuben Lacey was playing the devil's music. Reuben Lacey moved on, ended up working with somebody who became one of the fathers of country music on the railroad and ended up being a preacher himself. Um, there is a good, good interview in this book, Nothing But the Blues. If you can get your hands on this one, it's going to be pricey, but there is an interview in there by David Evans who interviewed Son House and had Alan Wilson and John Fahey in tow, made a couple trips up to Reuben Lacey's church and let's take a look. This is actually a rubbing of the cornerstone of Reuben Lacey's church. Um, Reverend Reuben Lacey, um, look at this name, Chester Davis, Chester Davis. Um, Alan Wilson ended up visiting a couple of times up there once he found out from Sun House where Sun House first heard the kind of music Sun House ended up playing. Again, nothing but the blues article by David Evans. Now, David Evans uh, was in the UCLA folklore program or musicology program, and once he'd met Reuben Lacey, he ended up telling other scholars, and then you had Reuben Lacey being the subject of the art of the American folk preacher, which kind of covers what their preaching style is like, but Reuben Lacey is featured in here. And now most recently, Going Up the Country is a book that just came out. I think I'll give you links to all of these books below down in the reference section. Don't blame me when you get into hundreds of dollars of expense. But this one is relatively new, came out in 2022, University of Mississippi Press, and David Evans talks about with his girlfriend at the time, Marina Bokelman went up and visited Reuben Lacey after Reuben's wife died, and they spent some time around the church and stuff. Um, Reuben Lacey, as a bluesman, recorded several songs, but only two uh, were actually produced onto records and my friend Victoria Bourne in England actually did a cover on one of those songs in a link I'll give you right up there but two songs 
that came out on blues records, actually 78s, David Evans actually did some recordings, some field recordings, and there is one, if not two records or songs on this album, Sorrow Come Pass Me Around, a survey of rural black religious music. You can actually hear Reuben Lacey on here as a preacher, as well as one of his deacons, remember the name Chester Davis right there. Yeah, he's on here too. I've got a copy of this on CD that came out of Japan, but I, I hate to do this to you guys, but if you're going to find this, it's going to be pricey. Uh, hang in there till you find it. I will try to give you a reference again below in the resources section. Anyway, what am I doing now? Well, I made several trips up to Reuben Lacey's church, collected some wood out back in a trash pile so I can keep putting bits and pieces in my guitars in the neck. You'll find that um, I actually did a Sun House cigar box guitar. I'll give you a link up there. I'm burning up these cards fast, but you'll see a triangle in the necks of my guitars. And one of those pieces of wood is uh, from where Sun House recorded. I actually have a piece of wood that came from the grounds of the Paramount Record Company. And we know that uh, Alan Wilson of Canned Heat fame was the one that actually helped Sun House relearn his music and that story is documented let me get back in my pile here in this book um, and Alan Wilson actually went with John Fahey and David Evans up to visit Reuben Lacey once Sun House finally said hey this is probably one of the people that influenced me anyway I made a trip up to Bakersfield, California earlier uh, this year to get the final piece of the puzzle for me and that was to visit the final resting place of Reuben Lacey. So let's take a look at that trip and I'll catch back up with you in the end. Okay guys, this is where it's going to be valuable for you to know Latin tree names. I am in historic Union Cemetery in Bakersfield, California, and in the mid-November afternoon sun, November 16th, 2022, in the afternoon shadow of a Washingtonia filifera and just east of a Pistachia chinensis, and just west of a row of Pinus elderica is the final resting place of Reuben Lacey. Okay, there we go. That's much better. In memory of Reverend Reuben L. Lacey, January 2, 1902 to November 14th, 1969, singer of the gospel blues. There are some indicators of a dichotomy here, the cross and the guitar, and also in the reference to gospel blues. Reuben Lacey recorded six songs in total, four never published those four in 1927, and two that were published in 1928, 
Mississippi Jailhouse Grown and Ham Hound Crave were published in 1928 and I have a nickel here from 1928 that I'm going to put over the sound hole of the guitar on this head stone. Um, I am going to do a rubbing of this headstone and it will hang right next to the rubbing I have of the cornerstone dedication for Reuben Lacey's church in Ridgecrest. Now it's just my luck that there are three seeds from the Washingtonia Philifera right over there that's cast in the afternoon shadow and you know me I'm going to plant these get them to sprout and where I live has a climate similar to Bakersfield, so watch for that horticulture lesson. But again, we're at the grave site, final resting place of Reuben Lacey, blues singer turned Baptist preacher. All right, I'm back in the shed. It's today, and I have several of these I did off of the grave marker of Reuben Lacey. I am going to take a piece of wood like I did the rubbing from the cornerstone of the church in Ridgecrest and um, put it on here and hang it in my area where I have a number of uh, relics and things uh, from blues players that are really important to me. So let me get this wrapped up. I will show you uh, what it looks like in a clip at the end here. Uh, don't forget to give me a like if you like this kind of history. Uh, if you visit these places, don't take parts off the church. Don't don't do anything that's um, going to make it worse than when you arrived and in fact when you see grave sites that aren't attended to clean them up clean up the next couple neighbors around and do something good for the blues community because we want people to think we're out there to help preserve history not to be looting things so that said give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't and let me get to work on finishing up this little project and don't forget to get one of those R. Crumb cards, Heroes of the Blues, Reuben Lacey, and make a copy of it and hang it on your Christmas tree. If you've got Reuben Lacey staring at you, your life's going to be just right, believe me.